Hi, Mark Diaz here for 2DAnimation101.com. This is the behind the scenes for The Hunters. In the book Comedy Writing Secrets by Melvin Hellitzer, the author mentions what is considered the world's funniest joke about two hunters. Okay, so we thought, hmm, what if we transform the joke into an animation? And what do you need to create an animation? Well, you need a storyboard, you need voice actors, you need music, sounds, backgrounds, and characters. Put all of those together in a software like Cartoon Animator 4, and what do you get? An animation, right? So let's talk about how the Hunter's animation was done. Okay, it all started with the storyboard. I just did a quick sketch using Storyboarder, a free tool you can use to create storyboards. And I was just basically pulling the images out of my head into my computer. You can do this with pencil and paper too. After I got the storyboard, I defined how many voices would I need. Once that was defined, I got the voices. Because I'm an actor, I did the voice for the male hunter and got one of my friends to do the voice for the phone operator. After recording this, I started working on the sound, starting with the selection of music. This particular joke, I felt, would not need any music during the story, but at the end, for the credits, I wanted to put a musical piece that would give me a sense of irony. And this tango by Wayne Jones was perfect for me. I got that from the tools for creators inside YouTube, but just by going to my dashboard, other features, audio library. And then I started editing the audio and needed some sounds. So I just went to freesound.org and got the audio I needed. Then I checked the storyboard many times looking for ways to produce each of the panels and realized that I'm gonna need backgrounds. So for the backgrounds, I just went to Pixabay and Pexels to get free images of jungle scenes that I could use for my animation and the inside of an office to use for the phone operator. Then I used some Photoshop filters on those and voila, I got my backgrounds. Then I started producing all the images, starting with the characters. This is probably the part of the process that takes the most time. I took my time to draw and paint each of the characters and adding backgrounds to the, each panel. Once I got that, I started working on the animatic. The animatic is basically taking all your production you have so far and turn it into a slideshow. This is a perfect way to visualize how your animation is going to look like. And also, it can be used to start getting some marketing going on your animation. I, when I finish the animatic, I put it on Facebook so I can start getting some interest on the work. Then, after all of that was done, I started the animation. Okay, for the animation, I do two steps. One, the setup. And two, the animation. Okay, so for the setup, I used... Photoshop to prepare the characters into different body parts and putting it back together in Cartoon Animator 4 and did that for every single panel of my storyboard. This is the other part of the production that takes a lot of time. But once I got all of that finished comes the fun part, the animation. In here, I just take all the preparation I did, everything I have done, and animate each scene, bringing all my characters to life by adding movements and voices and all of that. And after all the scenes were animated, I just went to the animatic and added each animated scene to my project. And voila, the animation was finished.
Thanks for watching. Share this video to any creative people you know. If you don't know anyone creative, don't share it. But if you know creative people who have ideas, share this video because this can help them turn their ideas, their stories, their knowledge into animation. This is Mark Diaz for 2DAnimation101.com. Until next time, take care.